What is up, I Love Basketball TV, it's Coach Ron Rizuki, and I'm with John and Dom, and today we're gonna help you become a better finisher. Let's get straight to it. Before we start this program, I wanna make sure that you grab my entire finishing program. You'll be able to see it in the pinned comment down below. It's a full on finishing program. It's gonna walk you through every single finish, the footwork, and how to master them from the basics all the way to the most advanced ones. Now, without further ado, let's get into this one and show you guys how to become a better finisher in just eight minutes. Step one, most important thing is can you use both hands? So everything we do right now is gonna be right-handed, then we're gonna do the exact same thing, make sure we can do it with the left. So what I wanna see is you guys just drive, we're gonna go three in a row. It's cool, actually let's go four in a row between the two of you guys, cool? No, overhand layups, super easy right now. I'm gonna walk you through everything. We're gonna go right hand, overhand layups, four straight, cool? Everything's about finishing, good. Overhand layup, right there. Boom, boom, four straight. We're gonna move on this one. You can go from right here, it's fine. You can start from the elbow. Boom, perfect. Good overhand. Good overhand, go straight to it, underhand. Actually, let's go left side. Let's go left side, yep. Boom, overhand. Good, one. What the <laughs> There you go, one. Two. Come on, straight to it. Three, good. And four, beautiful. Now, we're not focused on any of the dribbles. I don't care what you guys do here. All we're focusing on is can you finish, right? So they were able to make four in a row. Ideally, you should be able to make at least 10 in a row, just overhand layups. Let's go three straight. Let's go straight underhand layups. Yep, underhand, beautiful. Underhand, love it, there it is. This is number one, you gotta be able to use both hands. Good, other side, that's three, that's three, other side, left side. Good, there's one, zero, there you go. One, come on, three in a row. Two, last one. Three, now this is the last one where people mess up the most. Not the last one, but this is the one where people mess up the most. We're going side hand layup. So you can choose to put your head under the rim or slightly on this side if you want, but people always mess this up when I say to go side hand because what they'll end up doing is going here and then just extending it underhand. So it is underhand, but you want to be over here. So try to get your head under the rim and extend that ball out. All right, three straight, let's go. Yep, that's just like that, I know, that's perfect. Let's go, start from here, come on. Good, one, two, and three, good. Just for good measure, when you attack the basket, try never to do this, right? Because you know that the defense is on that side. So you guys both went into this layup and kind of went, yep, like this. So just try to keep it on this left side when you go left side. Good, one. It's all right, three straight, let's go. It's not easy. There you go, one. But it's not that hard, come on. Straight to it, straight to it, there you go. Ooh. Editor, editor. Come on, right here, one, good. Two, last one. Three, beautiful. Now, we have over, under, in, uh, over, under, excuse me, and then outside. Now we'll go inside hand. So we drive right, finish with the left, okay? Could be under, over, doesn't matter as long as you drive right, finish with the left. Perfect, try to get the left leg up. Try to get the left leg up. Try to get the left leg up on this last one. Try to, yeah, get the left leg up. Three straight. Uh, last one, last one, do it again. Go, left leg up. Yeah, you just take one step, not two steps. Yeah, go ahead. There it is, perfect, good. Switch over, inside hand, yep. So now drive left, finish right. Perfect, yeah, just like that. Good, easy. Perfect, good, this side. So we've gone over, under, side, inside, right? Drive, reverse. Perfect, there it is, one. Three, stay on this side, stay on this side now. Now drive, reverse, finish with the right. Perfect, one. Two. 
three. Other side. Drive left, finish right. Opposite. Good, one. Zero. Come on, you got it. One. Zero. Selling. One. Two, let's go. Beautiful, three. Now go left hand. Now go left hand. So left side, yep. Drive left, finish left. Hmm? I know, I see it. One, good job. Two, one more. Perfect, there you go, three. See that? Over, under, side, inside and then both reverses, yeah. right? So for the most part, you need to have these finishes down. That's number one. The huge part of finishing that we have to address as well is gonna be contact, yes? It's very important that we draw contact, but we have to have some variety when we get to the rim. If your right hand and your left hand are not equally as good, it's gonna be really hard to be a finisher because people can know that you're gonna finish with the right hand every time, and it makes it a lot easier for them to time things and block things, right? Now for contact, I'm gonna teach you how to draw some contact or how to at least go into contact without it, right? So what we'll do now is we're gonna drive towards the block. So I'm gonna go straight line to the block, when I get here, I'm going to slam the ball and try to get as far as I can that way. So I'm going to slam the ball here, ball, I'm going to tuck it in just with my right ribs and I'm going to jump inward. Does that make sense? Just like we would go into contact. So left shoulder, just imagine left shoulder is going into contact. That way we keep the ball protected. A lot of people go like this, boom, and bring the ball over. That's when it gets ripped and wrapped out, right? So we're going, boom, tuck it here, bump him with our shoulder, and then we'll just finish a nice, easy right hand layup. All right? That's perfect. One. Good. Two. Three. Switch sides. Lovely. That was great. Oh, perfect. Oh. Nice. Good. It's alright. There's one. Two more. Good. Last one. Three. Right here. Good. Now notice how they did a really good job of being able to drive forward but then jump sideways, right? A lot of times people mess this up because they end up jumping forward as well. And we want to make sure that we go into defense as much as possible. So you guys did a good job of that. It's kind of like an L shape, right? You're running forward, defense here, and then boom, we slam, go into them there, create the space we need to shoot it, or you can get a nice little pump fake off that. So let's do the same thing and we'll add a pump fake. So now as you create the space, you're going to get them in the air. You can pump and finish same side. You can pump and get to the other side into a reverse. Either hand is fine. All right, just three straight, let's go. Get him up. Yes. One. Pump fake, pump fake. That's fine. I, yeah, stay on the ground for the pump fake. Good. Yes. Nice. All right, last one here. Finish it. Yep. Great job. Switch sides, switch sides. It's all right. Forward. Good. Be patient on this one, Don. Be patient. Forward. Yes. All right, speed is not always the key. Good job. It's alright, last one. Go ahead, finish. What do you get your rebound? Good, way to get him up. Now, this last one to draw contact here. Alright, we're gonna drive kind of towards the block a little bit more in. We're gonna get the ball to touch the net is the goal, then bring it back to your shoulder and finish. This is gonna teach you how to jump on top of defenders and the angle that you're gonna take. So we drive, ball touches the net, or try to, most of us won't be able to, but it's fine. Try to touch the net, bring it back to our shoulder, and then finish the layup. Okay. Yeah. Yep, good, one. You don't have to touch it, just try, like, get close to it. That was really good though. Yeah, that's super hard, yeah. That's getting a little too low. Tough, yeah. Yep, just like that, there you go. That's perfect, Dom, good, one more. All right, you don't have to get all the way to the net. Good, as long as you're just reaching for it, because if you actually go underneath, that's really hard to come all the way back. But your goal is to like reach towards it, or reach towards the rim, either or, go for it. Mm -hmm. Left side. Get the forward down, it's left, right, outside, inside. Right, left. left, right, outside, inside. Uh, a little more, stretch it a little more. <laughs> Not a jump stop, left, right, gather. Yes. Good, nicely done. Yes, get up. Perfect. Oh, 
There you go. There you go. That's okay. Last one. There you go. So there's a great way to become a better finisher, making sure that you can use both hands, understanding patience, contact, and being able to use both sides of the rim. Now, if you want even more about finishing, all the details about footwork and contact, all the different varieties of finishes that you need from Euro steps to pro hops to spin moves, how to do all of them correctly and how to know when to use them, make sure that you get our finishing program. It's gonna change your life.